Hello, my name is Athena Costanzo, and this is the Star Center. I chose this project for a number of reasons. First, it combines my two degrees of interior design and geographic science and community planning. I wanted to create a facility that is both aesthetically appealing and functional to its users, as well as the surrounding community. Second, astronomy is a huge part of Flagstaff. Flagstaff is home to the U.S. Naval Observatory and Lowell Observatory, which is where the dwarf planet Pluto was first discovered. I really want to highlight astronomy from here in Flagstaff and the rest of the Southwest in this project. Third, I want this space to be able to connect Flagstaff to NAU. The university is basically its own community around town, and there is not a very strong connection or a ton of positive connotation amongst locals and the university itself. It's important that the two are able to work together to make Blackstaff even more of a thriving community. The location of this project is on Northern Arizona University's Blackstaff campus. More specifically, it's where Peterson Hall and the Babbitt Academic Annex currently reside. So there is a map in relation to the rest of Blackstaff of where the plot is. It's fairly close to the Southside neighborhood. So this is one of the main communities that we are hoping to connect to with it. So what is the STAR Center? The STAR Center, which stands for Science, Technology, Astronomy, and Research, is of course an astronomy building located on the Northern campus of Northern Arizona University. This is a building that will not only be for Northern Arizona University students and faculty as well as researchers, but it will be there for the community as well. So parts of this building will be very public and open to anyone and others will be more private. They'll only be for students, faculty, and researchers. Um, there will be classrooms, offices, conference rooms, and then a coffee shop and a planetarium. The classrooms will be varying sizes, so there will be three standard sizes to it. Each one will have different tables and desks and chairs arranged um, to fit the needs of whoever's using the space for whatever reason. The same goes for conference rooms. There will be three or four different layouts to these. Each will be able to accommodate a different amount of people. So the same goes. Different purposes will need different size rooms. Overall, this building is meant to be ethereal, innovative, and organic. So the concept of astronomy is going to be strong, but not in an obvious way in this building. I really wanted to focus on Southwest astronomy of indigenous people, both to Northern Arizona and the surrounding areas. This really influenced my color scheme um, in many ways. So I wanted it to be more natural and organic so I chose more greens, oranges, blues, and grays. This project will hopefully fulfill two major needs. The first is there isn't really anywhere to showcase astronomy flagstaff. Of course you have the observatories, but there's not really somewhere for researchers to display their work or anything like that really. The second is there is nowhere for Department of Astronomy and Planetary Sciences currently. Yes, they are in the Physical Sciences building, which is just nearby. However, there's nowhere near enough space for this growing department. This department, within the last year, has split off from the Department of Astronomy and Physical Sciences, so they're basically their own entity now. They need their own building, they need their own facility, they need their own labs. This project is just one little part of an overall grand scheme. So overall, the whole project is really meant to celebrate past and present discoveries in science, technology, astronomy, and research. It's meant to facilitate research, learning, and discovery in astronomy. So this field is quite important to Northern Arizona University. Um, there's the dark sky ordinance, there's the observatories, everything like that. So why wouldn't there be a great place for astronomers to work?
overall, the whole scheme is really going to help facilitate the economy through tourism eventually. As the apartment grows, so will the interest. Hopefully, there will be people from all over the world, if not all over Arizona and the rest of the United States, coming to visit Northern Arizona specifically to go to the Star Center. Since it's really going to be a place to showcase astronomy, this is the main goal. Of course, it's really meant to help connect NAU and the surrounding community. But we don't want to just stop there. The whole project should be much bigger and grander than just Flagstaff itself. Some topics that I researched to help guide me through this project were Town and Ground, Universal Design, and the astronomy of the American Southwest. So first, Town and Gown. What is it? In the most basic terms, it's the relationship between an educational institution and the community. So one of the main goals of Town and Gown is to really help create a joint use facility. This would be somewhere for both educators to use as well as the community. It's not just a one use facility. It can be used for many different things by many different people, either for profit or nonprofit. This is part of the social responsibility that an educational facility should have to the community itself. The facility should be able to make money and help sustain the economy of the surrounding city, not just for the entity of the university itself, but it should really contribute to helping create a stronger knit community and a stronger economy. While universal design has many key principles and design guidelines, specifically the seven listed here, I thought it was really important to focus on a few of these in particular, such as flexibility in use and low physical effort, as well as size and space for approach and use. So with this, I really wanted to incorporate all of the guidelines that are required for universal design and ADA, as well as make the space very flexible in use so that anybody can use it. As I said before, I am going to have different sized spaces with different types of furniture that can be moved around and shaped and able to create the correct space for the correct environment at the time. Southwest astronomy is also a really big part of my design. As I stated before, it is really helping to influence my overall design of the space, mostly with my color scheme. So two places that I really looked at were Chaco Canyon and Wapaki. Both are in pretty close relation to Flagstaff and both played really huge roles in the history of astronomy here. So going into the design of my space, this is the general furniture floor plan for my two-story building. The first story is on the left, second story is on the right. So as you enter the space from the north, you will enter into the lobby and just ahead of you will be the stairs. When you go to the right, you'll see the cafe and coffee shop. This space will be, of course, open to the public as well as people from the university. It will be a gathering place, but also just a little quick grab your coffee and a snack and go. Just below this is the planetarium. This can hold up to 90 people, so it's both a space for classes such as early on astronomy classes, as well as really just public use. Um, so it could be rented out, it could be used for events during Science Week, um, it could be used for private parties, whatever. This floor also has one large classroom. This is the medium sized classroom of the three that I have in my floor plan, as well as a smaller conference room. There's also seating all around the first floor as well as two ADA accessible restrooms. Um, the seating is meant to accommodate anyone who wants to sit here. It's really meant to help facilitate socializing both with community members and the NAU community itself.
When you go upstairs to the second floor, there are two other classrooms, as well as three small study rooms and two more conference rooms. There are also three offices, a break room, and the department office. There are two ADA accessible elevators, and this floor also has a bunch of seating and two ADA accessible restrooms. Since this project is so focused on community and connectivity, I think it's really important to have multiple places for people to gather and socialize. There's, of course, the coffee shop and cafe that I mentioned previously that is pictured on the left. There are a bunch of tables and chairs and different types of seating to accommodate anyone's needs from studying by yourself to sitting with a few different people and socializing. Up in the top corner, this is the main entry to the lobby, so there will be some seating just next to the doors. This is more for a place to just meet your friends and be a gathering point. Below this is the far side of the lobby, and this is more of a private area. It is right by the entrances to the conference room and the classroom on this floor, as well as the accessible elevators. There are different types of seating here. As you can see, there are tables and chairs. This is more of a study area. And then behind that are couches and chairs and more comfortable social seating. The second story of this building will be more catered towards the educational side. There are certain areas that are dedicated much more specifically towards the faculty. This will all be on the left side of the building. There is a break room, which is seen on the left side of this slide, with a small kitchen with a fridge and sink and microwave, as well as some dining seating and then just a couch to lounge. Um, it's really a place for both faculty and students to come and just take a break from their day, from the stress, whatever. The image above shows one of the conference rooms. This is the largest conference room that I have designed, and it only seats about 14 people, a few more if you bring in a couple extra chairs. There is a TV to show presentations, anything like that, as well as two tall whiteboards on either side to help facilitate group work. Below that, you see one of the three offices. All three that I have designed are identical. They're not huge, but they're not too small. There's plenty of shelving and storage and desk space for researchers, grad students, professors, you name it. There are spaces for students as well. I don't want this to just be a building for students to come to class and then leave. I want students to be able to stay here and socialize or do homework, whatever they want to do. On the left side of the slide, you see one of the study rooms. There are three in this building, all are identical. They're meant more for one or two students and they can be rented out and used whenever a student needs one. This could be for studying, for working on projects, whatever the student desires. Up above, you see the largest classroom. This is in the corner of the second floor. It holds over 50 students and is more of a lecture style. Below this is the main seating. Once you walk upstairs, this is what you walk into. There are tables and chairs and then some higher tables with some bar seating that can be used more for studying and doing group work. So as I said before, this project is just one little part of what this whole project could be. Since I'm a double major, I have decided to combine my two capstones and create one grand project. So overall, this project could be a five building scheme, as you see here. This would include uses with research labs, offices, break rooms, a coffee shop again, conference rooms, classrooms, lecture halls, study spaces, a lobby for the planetarium, as well as a miniature science center and exhibition space, and a rooftop viewing deck. All of these combined 
would really help showcase what NAU has done for astronomy here in Flagstaff, as well as what Flagstaff has done for astronomy really worldwide. There is also multimodal transportation that will be implemented. So things such as new bus routes, ADA parking, all of that. The rooftops will also be fully utilized. So as I just mentioned, one of them will house a rooftop viewing deck. So this will be for classes as well as the public to really take in what the astronomy of Blackstaff really looks like. The whole thing is really enclosed in glass to promote year round use. Since it does get really cold and snowy here in Flagstaff, it's really a space for people to come hang out, do work, take classes, whatever. The rooftops also have solar panels as well as a green roof and a green water capture system to really help promote sustainability and green design here on campus. Thank you so much for your time and for viewing my presentation.